Hello, you guys, and welcome to day six of Logmas Crafts. So I have a friend that wants to put some bows on her Christmas tree, but she doesn't know really how to make bows. So I am going to show you a couple of different options for some simple bows. So this first bow I'm going to show you is probably the simplest. And it's just Why? a big bow. Okay, it's just a looped bow and it has a jingle bell in the center. It has these strings on the back so that you can tie it to your tree or whatever it is that you want to tie it to. And um, this is just a burlap that has some snowflakes in it. This is not wired, okay? Um, and I, it doesn't have any wired center, anything, so all you need is the material that you're going to use for your bow. Um, the bell is optional, and I just use string. If you want to use wire instead of the string to tie it, then um, that is definitely your choice to do so. Okay, so I'm going to show you really quick how I did this. I am going to use a different type of burlap, which is just this very, very loose burlap. This is some burlap that I had on an old wreath wreath that I um, disassembled that I am going to use the frame to do something else with. And I am just going to cut a piece of this off. If I can find some scissors. Okay, so how, however big you want your bow to be. That last bow is pretty big, um, so I'm going to do probably about 44 inches, and that will give me my tail and everything. Okay, so this is about 44 inches of ribbon. Okay, this this, like I said, was on a wreath, so it isn't real, real straight. It's a little bit crinkled up, but that's okay. And I'm just simply going to find the center of it. So here's my piece. Here's my center. I'm going to lay my center here. And I'm just going to leave it stationary right here on this on my surface, okay? I'm going to take one end of it and I'm going to drape it around. I'm going to loop it around so I have a loop over on this side. My tail is down here, okay? I'm going to take my other side and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just simply going to loop it around and I know that the center is my even spot so as long as my tails are the same length down here I know that my loops are going to be about the same size. You can also pull your loops up in the middle like this holding the center of your bow and know that your loops are going to be about the same size. Now if, you're, if you want your loops smaller, you simply pull them down. If you want them bigger, you simply pull them up. But for this bow, I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail. Okay, and it's all in the center like this. I'm going to take some jute. Now again, you can use wire for this if you choose to. I'm going to cut a pretty good piece. This is about 24 inches in length that I cut. Okay, and I am going to flip my bow. First, I'm going to put my string in the middle. I'm going to find the middle of my string. I'm going to just put that in the middle, and I am going to flip this whole thing over. Okay. And so now I'm upside down. I have my two ends of my string or my wire, if you're using wire, and I'm just simply going to hold on. I'm going to push down on my bow, 
I'm going to put a half of a square knot in here. I'm going to push down with my hands because I want this to gather evenly. And I'm going to just pull my knot. so that it gathers up in the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to hold it tight and finish off my knot. Okay, and there we go. We have a bow. If your bow, you can again as you can see, one of my one of my loops is bigger than the other one, but that's easy to fix. You just have to pull your knot or one of your tails, you know, whichever side is bigger, to get those two come even. And then once you've got it even the way that you want it to be, this is a very rustic looking bow. You've got a string to tie it on. If you want to add a bell, just simply cut another piece of jute. Get a bell, string it through, sometimes that's easier said than done. Or you can put a piece of wire through your bell and do it that way. Pull it through. Tie it on, and just so that you don't have a bunch of extra strings. Cut those tails off. And then you've got a really rustic looking burlap bow. And then once you get it on whatever you're going to put it on, you can um, adjust it and make it look as you want it to look. Those are my strings to tie it, or if you used wire. Okay, so that's one bow. Real simple, real basic. Okay, so the next bow are these three layered bows where they've got the three different sized bows stacked. It's a stacked bow on top of each other like this. Okay, and then you can, this has a wire, so you can fluff them up and make it look poofy. So you can use wired ribbon or non-wired ribbon, whichever you prefer. It's got these tails on it, and then I used wire to put it together so that you can wire this to your tree or your project. And that's what it looks like. Okay, so let me show you how I made this. Now I'm going to use a different kind of ribbon for this, and I've already cut my, my pieces. So I've got my three pieces of ribbon and they're all cut in three different lengths. Okay, my first one is cut at 22 inches. My second one is cut just about an inch shorter, so it would be cut at 21 inches. And then my third one is cut at about 21. Now you don't have to be real specific with those lengths. 
because it depends on the what size you want your bow to be but each layer should be about an inch smaller than what than the one previous to that now this ribbon um, is wired very thin wire but it is wired and it does have a front and a back side as you can see the piping on the sides of it is a bit darker on the front side than it is on the back side so I want to make sure when I glue this that I glue it so that the outside is on the outside so I'm just going to simply take my glue gun and run a bead of hot glue and glue that so that I now have um, a circular piece of ribbon. I'm going to do that to all three pieces again, making sure that my outside is on, or my right side of the ribbon is on the outside and the inside or the wrong side is on the inside of my ring. just like that and then I'm going to layer these making sure that the seam is in the center I'm going to layer all three of these together making sure that my seam is on the inside and that these are all even so there's even amounts hanging over on both sides okay just like that and then I am simply going to pleat this. So I pushed it down in the center and then on the sides. And I'm going to hold that just like that. Okay. Now I've also cut a piece and I've already forked the ends of my ribbon. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to wrap it in the center, which mine's not in the center, so let me grab this again. I'm going to find the center. So I'm going to find the center. I'm going to wrap this in the center. I'm going to give it a twist. I twisted it just so that it's twisted a little bit there in the back to hold it together. Okay, just like that. And if you want your if you don't want that center to be so big, then you can kind of fold it in on itself a bit. Okay, bring it together a little bit. And this is optional. You can use wire or you can use twine. For these flowers, I like to use the wire. Or flowers, for these bows, I like to use the wire. So I'm gonna cut. A piece of this floral wire. And this floral wire just came from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna find the middle. Just kinda give that a good so that it's nice and tight and then I'm just going to twist this on here. Okay, so then when you're done twisting it, you have these two tails coming down. This was disassembled from my Christmas tree last year, so that's why it's got some, some pleats in it. Okay, so then all you need to do is to fluff these up. Your wire will help it hold its shape. Okay, and then you got a three layered bow. And then you've got a wire to twist it on to whatever you're putting it on. And then you can adjust your 
details once you get it placed where you want it to be. Okay. So that's that bow. Okay, pretty simple. And so the last one we're going to do is this guy. No, not that one. Sorry, the girls are putting all of last year's bows up here. This one here. Okay, so it's got two tails on it. And it's just a fluffy bow. But you can fluff up all of these. little bow parts okay it's got two tails and then I closed mine up or tied it off with twine so that I can tie it to my project and that's what it looks like okay so I'm going to show you how to do this one last and I'm going to use this ribbon which is wired to show you how to do this okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start out with your center first so you're simply just going to take the good side or the right side this is it's hard to tell on this but the snowflakes or the glittery snowflakes are actually on this side and that's really the only thing that's making this the back side and this the front side. It's probably hard to tell on the camera, but in, per, in person you can tell and you can feel that the snowflakes are on this side. So this is my right side and this is my wrong side. So I want this to be on the outside of my bow. So I'm simply going to take this and roll this up into... A little circle like this and I'm gonna hold this with my fingers okay and then I'm gonna give it a little twist in the back and I'm gonna hold it with my fingers so see how I've got that twisted and then I'm gonna make another loop Okay, and each time I go to the back, I need to give it a twist because that's going to hold everything together. So you need to give it, I want my, my loop to be a little bit bigger than that, so I need to give it a twist. But when I twist it, I always want the good side or the right side to be out. Okay, and I want these two loops to be the same size. So if you need to check that, then simply pull these out and test it to see if they're the right sides or if they are even. Okay, so now I need to twist that and I'm going to make three this size. Okay, so I'm going to test them to make sure they're the same size. I'm going to give this a twist kind of hold it in place and I'm going to bring my ribbon I want it on the good side or the right side and I'm going to bring it back over here I'm going to make sure my loops are about the same size and then I'm going to give it another twist okay so we've got two and two, so I need to make one more over here. I want them to be about the same size, and then I'm going to give it a twist. I want it to be on the good side up towards this little guy in the center. I want him to be about the same size, and then I'm going to give it a twist. So I've got three here and three here. Now I want to go a little bit bigger, make sure that my um, the right side is out, and I want to make this one a little bigger, so I'm going to twist. This one's going to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to twist. 
list. Make another one. And just take your time. If your hand starts to cramp up, and just take a breather. Your hand does start to feel pretty, pretty full. Just kind of scrunch everything back in there. Make sure they're about the same. And it's important to twist it because that's what's going to hold everything together. And then just untwist everything off of the roll. Give yourself enough room there. And of course I have a child here that is knocking everything off my desk. So, you know, just take your time. unroll it a little bit it's best you know you can stick your roll into a bucket or a bowl or something and just kind of let that in do whatever it wants to do and then straighten this out enough to where you have enough to work with and then bend that make sure it's about the same it doesn't have to be exact but you want it about the same give it a little twist Make sure that your next loop is about the same size. Okay, give it a little twist. It's the same size. Okay, and then what you're going to do, so I've got three big ones, three little ones, three big ones, three little ones. Now I want tails, so I'm going to go ahead and make one big loop here. And these will be my tails. Now, obviously, it's not cut yet, but at the end, it will be. So I need to tuck another piece back behind here so that um, both tails will be hooked when I'm all done. Okay, so I have that back there. I'm going to wind all of this up with wire. So I'm going to cut a pretty long piece of wire here because I'm going to fold this wire over onto itself. So I'm going to take this wire, fold it over onto itself. Okay, so I have a hook at the end of my wire. I'm going to feed that hook through, come through the back. I'm still holding all of this together. I'm going to feed those two tails through. Okay, and that way I can really get this tight. So now I can cut this piece off. Now I don't cut it really short. I leave about an inch on there. I can cut it short when I'm all done. And I'm going to flip this over just so that I can get this really tight. I'm just going to keep pulling on this wire until I feel that it is tight. And then I'm gonna twist it. I'm gonna separate the two tails, flip it back over, feed them going separate directions, grabbing each one, feeding them opposite directions and going back pulling them tight and twisting them. Now you can do whatever you need to do to get yours tight, but that's just how I do mine. Okay, and then I've got these two wires to twist it onto my project. Okay, so now this is what it's looking like. I've got this loop at the bottom and I've got this, which looks like a mess up here, but we're gonna shape all of this. Now this is pretty long in here but that's okay because I can cut this off and shorten that off in the center. Kind of tuck those wires up in there. So that's my center. Okay, and I'm still going to hold this. I'm going to pinch this pretty tight and I'm going to fluff all of these pieces 
back up using that wire on my edges. I'm going to fluff all this up so that we can see what we've got here. Okay, so I've got six on that side. Just fluffing these back up. I've got six on this side. I'm just going to pull it apart. Get them all straight. I've got six on this side and my wires are back here. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So now what I want to do is I want to kind of pull the layers away from each other. That one's up, that one's down or up. I'm going to pull this one down, this one up, this one down. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Down, up, down, up, down, up. So then you get this great looking puffy bow. Go back in, fluff them all, make them all nice and fluffy and round. Make that wire work for you. And then once you get it on your project, you can re-round out that wire. And then you've got this wonderful bow. So then you can do your tails in a couple of different ways. Aren't those cute? They're so fluffy. And then if you want more of a rounded bow, you could put two of these together. A lot of people on their Christmas trees, they'll make two of these and butt them up together on the backs. And then you'll have this nice round bow for your, the top of your Christmas tree. Of course, you might want to make it bigger for depending on the size of your tree. Then you've got this really nice round bow. These are great for packages too. So then if you want to make just a diagonal cut, you would just take the tail and just cut diagonally, okay? But if you want that forked look, you would just simply take both of your tails. Right now it's all one piece. Take it, fold it in half, like this and then with your scissors you would just simply cut at a diagonal and then you have these forked tails at the end. Okay so then you have this nice big fluffy bow. Now that one is a little bit more challenging and a little bit more difficult, but it's still really easy. If you have to slow the video down, you can slow it down. You can watch it a couple times to get the hang of it. Make it a couple times, you know, watch me do it a couple of times and then you try to make it a couple times. Don't hook anything together. Just go through and make it with me a couple of times before you actually hook your wire around it and you'll get it. You will. It's taken me, you know, a while to learn how to make these. You know, when I first started making these a couple years ago, I was fumbling around myself. So, but after you try it a few times, you'll get the hang of it. Don't give up. They're not that difficult. So you've got that one. Can you guys see here? There's that one. There's this one, okay, and this one. Okay, those are the fluffy ones. And then there's the layered ones, which are these guys. Okay, and then you've just got your regular little bows. These really are my favorites. I don't know, call me old fashioned, but there's this one. And this rustic looking. Okay, you guys, so I hope that helps. I hope you can use these on something. And I hope you all have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And as always, God bless. Happy bow tying. Bye.